If you have blocked arteries or any kind of cardiovascular issue and you'd like to do something about it, here's a little story, something that I've experienced uh, or I went through with my father. So I'm not a cardiologist, I'm not a physician. So what I'm going to share here is not based on, on clinical experience with many people. It's a study of N equal one, but I think it's worth sharing. So about 30 years ago, my dad had a heart attack. So he was rushed to the hospital and they saw that one of his coronary artery was, was blocked 85%. So they used angioplasty. They were able to open it. Uh, at the end, it was 15% blocked, but it, it, was, it was enough. So he was discharged. About, what, six weeks later, he felt that he had a heartburn. He thought it was his heart again. So he went back to the hospital. And uh, when they look at his heart then, uh, they, they could not see the artery that, uh, that was opened up with still 15% blockage was fully open. They put him on EKG with exercise on the treadmill. And after all the tests, they basically told him, we cannot see anything in your heart, so just go and have a good life. So here's what I gave him right after his first heart attack. So I gave him lipase. At the time, lipase was not a product that was available in the marketplace. I was working in the industry. I had colleagues uh, making enzymes. So I just asked them, could they give me some bulk lipase, which I put into capsules, and I provided that to my dad. That, coenzyme Q10, uh, and um, I think these were the, like the main two ingredients. And then blue-green algae, I'll come back to that in a second. So I gave that to him, and six weeks later, it was fine. Uh, so lipase is an enzyme that if you take it on an empty stomach, it's going to cross the intestinal uh, wall, will get into your bloodstream, will increase the lipolytic activity of your serum, and it's just going to digest fat that is in your bloodstream. So I assume that this is really what happened. We simply digested the fat that was in his arteries. Uh, I will simply add to this, which I know today, but we did not know back then, is that if you release stem cells in the blue-green algae, which I didn't know at the time, but then discovered that act as a stem cell mobilizer by putting more stem cells in circulation, there's a direct link between the number of stem cells in circulation and the ability of arteries to heal and repair. And you get fat deposits in area where you have small micro lesions in your arteries, microphage penetration, and then the whole cycle starts, and that's where it's taking place. So if you can repair arteries, you prevent that that phenomenon from, from taking place. So lipase to eliminate what may already be there, but to prevent any new deposits and just support good cardiovascular function, take something that is going to stimulate the release of stem cells from your bone marrow. I have tons of videos on that.